Samsung is making its Exynos chips better and better. They've been improving a lot in recent years. Now the Exynos chips are almost as good as Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips. A recent report from Panda Flash Pro says that the Exynos 2500 chip is even better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip in graphics and general processing. While the tip from Panda Flash Pro isn't backed by solid evidence and doesn't touch on efficiency or AI processing power, it's clear that Samsung has something exciting planned for its S25 series. Previously, there were rumors suggesting that the Exynos 2500 might use advanced 3 in MGA technology, potentially putting it on par with Gen 3 chips. This recent rumor might indicate some significant advancements with the Exynos 2500. Considering that the S24 series was focused on AI, it's possible that the upcoming S25 series will have even more AI-oriented features. For this, the Foundry chip would need to excel in terms of MPU performance. Until more concrete information is available, it's reasonable to treat the recent tip as speculation. Considering recent hints such as the possibility of including LPDDR6 RAM in the Galaxy S25, it suggests that Samsung is aiming to boost performance to surpass its competitors. This aligns with the idea that the recent tip about the Exynos 2500 could be true. However, it's still uncertain and difficult to predict the outcome accurately at this point. In the 2024 launch, the base and plus variants of the Galaxy S24 use the Exynos setup, while the Ultra variant featured either the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or the Exynos 2400, depending on the market. Recent rumors suggest that the Exynos 2400 might replace the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in the upcoming Z Flip 6. Additionally, there has been speculation about the Samsung Galaxy S25 potentially offering two chipset options, the Exynos 2500 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. In simple terms, Samsung appears to be intensively testing and improving its Exynos SOC with the aim of implementing it across its device lineup. To achieve this goal, they are likely striving to surpass Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips in terms of performance, efficiency, and overall user experience. This aggressive approach indicates Samsung's commitment to enhancing its in-house chipset technology and reducing reliance on external suppliers like Qualcomm. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.